Alrighty, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing the April manga reading log. So I read some good, some really good stuff this month. Finished a bunch of series. First, we're going to go into Fire Punch. So volumes 5 through 8, as you can see right here. This is the remaining volumes of Fire Punch that I needed to read to complete the series. So my opinion of Fire Punch, I thought it was very, very good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was just straight mayhem. I thought it was very chaotic. Uh, the story doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, but if you accept that at the beginning like I did, then I thought the ending was fine. A lot of people are kind of, they get upset by the ending just because it, it didn't really, it wasn't, I wasn't very good by any terms, but at the same time, I thought the story was just so ridiculous and insane and violent that like, I, I wasn't really expecting a good ending, if that makes sense. I had no idea where this manga was gonna go volume to volume. I would tell you right now, I think I read volumes five through eight or maybe six through eight in like a couple hours. I just, I, one after the other, I, I couldn't just stop. And honestly, this is, is such a hard manga to describe. I, I can't really, if you wanna watch my other reading log, I'd probably try to describe it there. Uh, but if you want a description, I'd recommend Googling it, but uh, even if you Google it, it's probably not going to make a whole lot of sense until you actually start reading it. Personally, I thought this was just a badass series and really, really good. Next, we have a newer series by the same mangaka. I don't know if I, I forgot, probably, probably forgot to mention, but Fire Punch is done by the same mangaka as Chainsaw Man. In the next manga, which I had to read after finishing Fire Punch because, like, I just hear, I mean, Chainsaw Man, I, I read volume one, and it's definitely a much more coherent story than Fire Punch, but I read Chainsaw man and let me tell you it is incredible volume three or volume four the ending is just absolutely insane but let me show you guys these real quick so yeah i binge read vo uh, volumes one through four i had already read volume one before but it was a while ago so i just reread it it's a really really nice cover i like this cover a lot but honestly i've been hearing people talk about this so much and i knew i needed to read it i already had some of the volumes yeah so i had a couple friends that really pushed me to read this also and i will say i 100 percent do not regret it it is a really really good manga I would say once you get past volume is it volume 2 at the end of volume 2 let me see no uh, so volume 2 is pretty good but I think the end of volume ah uh, it is so the end of volume 3 is absolutely insane I immediately was very happy I already had volume 4 purchased so I could go ahead and move on to that but I would say by the end of volume 3 if you're not hooked you're probably not gonna be hooked for the rest of the series but I, I you know Honestly, I was hooked by volume one. I thought it was really, really good, but uh, for some reason I was just kind of waiting to have a couple more volumes, which totally ended up working out because uh, having up to volume four, I think is the perfect place to start because I could binge these so fast and I really want to know what was going to happen next. Next, I also have two series in here, which I have not finished, but I have read some of the first volume, so I want to include them um, because I do have some opinions. So the next series, which I'm actually uh, have a, which I'm actually using a manga sloth bookmark for. So shout out to the sloth. Is Prophecy Volume One? Uh, I actually purchased this from Base Senpai a while ago. So yeah, I'm working on Prophecy. It's um, it's pretty interesting. It so far is this story where this guy takes revenge for certain situations on people. So people who have like you know done some type of wrong where he feels like they need a justified punishment, he'll kidnap them, kill. Them, them, beat them, whatever, you know, whatever the, the certain punishment is. Uh, and then he posts it to a website like YouTube. It's all kind of a like digital type of quite like Saw, but almost like Joker in the Batman movie where he like gave out a warning via like video message and whatnot. Very similar to that. Uh, I think it's pretty good. This is the type of manga that I enjoy. This type of psycho dark psychological manga. So yeah, working on it. Um, I think it's pretty good so far. I don't think it's anything incredible or amazing, but you know, one of those things that uh, I, I think I'm going to enjoy. And it's only three volumes. Next, we have a very, very good manga that some of you guys may have read. A lot of you guys have probably heard about it, but we have Astra Lost in Space volumes one through five. Pretty much binge read all of these, I would say within two days. Uh, so you have volume one, two, three, four, and five. Five being a little chunkier, but not, you know, probably not worth warranting a 
you know, volume six splitting it. So yeah, this is a very, very good manga. I was a little disappointed because people had called it like the Among Us manga, uh, which is not like Among Us in my opinion. There is a, so basically the story is these, this group of high school kids, this is way, you know, far into the future, who take this high school trip to this planet, which like every single class does every year. So now it's this year, I don't know if they're freshmen or something like that, but they're supposed to go to this planet and just kind of like, you know, explore. It's all like school stuff. So they basically end up getting warped into this like area that is so far away from where they're supposed to be and you later find out that there is a imposter among the group so that's why people say it's kind of like among us but it's not like people aren't getting killed right and left like among us so don't go into it thinking it's going to be this like bloody massacre type manga it's not there is definitely some some mystery to it I'm trying to decipher okay who you know who who's the person who is you know, meant to kill everyone. You know, who, who is this imposter? It is really, really good. I think you guys should definitely check it out. It's relatively cheap. You can buy it for a good price on Right Stuff. They sometimes have bundles or deals. It's only five volumes, and you might be able to read it on the Viz app also. I'm not 100% sure. The ending is also really, really good, so if you enjoy well-structured endings, this is going to be a great series for you. I know a lot of people who say this is, like, one of the most satisfactory endings that they've ever read. Which is surprising because manga readers and anime watchers usually only have terrible things to say about most endings. So yeah, Astro Lost in Space, very good in my opinion. The last manga that I started this month, which I will be jumping back into, but we have Solonen. Uh, I was reading this at a time this month where I hadn't really read much manga. I kind of taken a break and I picked this up. I wanted to do an Asano binge uh, and I just couldn't really get into this at the time. It's very slow paced and I think I just needed something faster. So I think I read maybe Astra next and, and that was exactly what I needed. Uh, so I will be jumping back into this. I want to give it a fair shot. I just, uh, it, it was too slow for me at the moment and I know this is a really good manga in people's opinions. So I definitely want to do my Inio Sano binge, but I want to do it at, at a point where I can really enjoy the story and not just read this while wanting to read something else. So yeah, that's going to be it for my reading log. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I will see you guys next month for a reading log. If you ever want a review on like an individual series where I go a little more in depth, I will be doing an Attack on Titan stream in the future. I don't know if I actually talked about that in this video, but I did finish Attack on Titan and um, I thought everything was in absolutely incredible. Uh, so I'm going to have some people on stream to uh, talk about that. Maybe there might be some spoilers, so uh, I might, might have to, you know, warn that in the title and whatnot. Yeah, if you guys ever want to see an actual individual more in-depth review on a series, let me know down in the comments. You know, I, I could definitely check it out and definitely can um, consider doing that or just, you know, let me know on Discord. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.